<clears throat> Hello you beautiful human, I am Xanthi and today we're just going to be talking about something that I've learned from living more in a um, I guess city-like area because I moved from a very farm town to um, kind of closer to Toronto City and um, I just wanted to tell you um, with something kind of cool that I noticed. Um, this will be a one-shot video because my phone and my laptop are still being annoying and I honestly do not have a lot of energy to edit videos at the moment. My eyes, like I've been having a headache for the past week almost and just not having the greatest time. So I just wanted to make a quick video though because I know that I've been slacking on making videos and um, I've just been really stressed with, I guess, the new work and probably not getting enough sleep. So yeah, I'm sorry that my energy isn't like super up there. Um, I'm just kind of feeling a little meh at the moment, but I did want to share um, with you something kind of cool that I figured out. So basically, my girlfriend and I moved in, um, I guess three weeks ago now. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I think almost three weeks and or I guess two and a half weeks anyway but we go on walks um, because we do live in a basement apartment a beautiful basement apartment um and so we do need to get outside she does get outside more than i do i am working from home every day so i do need to get outside more so we go on walks and when we go on walks the first couple times we did we didn't really hold hands because we were more used to being in like a country town and it, I guess it was just a bit more scary just because of the stereotype. Honestly, we had never come across anyone really being rude or discriminatory, discriminatory to us. Um, but I just wanted to share that here, we've been holding hands in public more often. It's a little bit easier because we don't know everyone here. So like that's what I find easier for me personally. So I've been holding her hand more and it feels really nice to just hold her hand and be together in public uh, without the worry of, I guess, people saying things, which on, again, we hadn't really been getting. It was just like the, I guess, fear that's like ingrained in us. Um, kind of like with girls, how it's very stereotypical, but girls know to always have their keys between their fists when you're walking by yourself, even if you haven't ever had an encounter that you had to have that. So being in the community is kind of the same as that. Um, anyway, but we've been holding hands in public and we actually went back to our hometown. Um, and we've gone back a couple times. Uh, we went back one time to go to an appointment and then the other time we went to vote. So that was pretty fun. Um, but anyway, we were walking around town and we held hands just automatically because we had been holding hands here. And I realized when we were there in, in our small town that we were holding hands and it didn't really feel wrong or scary or anything like I felt so much more confident and it just made me so happy to hold hands on the streets of our small town even though again we haven't been discriminatory or there hasn't been anything discriminatory towards us specifically um but yeah it's just a really really nice feeling to just hold hands Another thing that was kind of funny is that um, Katrina came home from work and our landlords were kind of, we, they were in our um, apartment just working on some renovations. And I was there and Katrina came through the door and I was like, oh, hi, blah, blah, blah like welcome home or whatever. And we didn't hug or kiss or anything. We just kind of stood far apart from each other and we were just like, hi, whatever. And then our landlords were actually like, um, are you not gonna like hug or anything? And so we were like, oh, right. So we were just kind of like nervous because there were other people around um, and we were used to just kind of like going not super close to each other with um, other people, um, I guess in public situations. So we hugged and kissed and it was really nice. So now we're more comfortable just being ourselves around people, which is so freaking nice. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I just wanted to share that. Uh, I don't know if it will help anybody. I don't know if it, you will enjoy this video, 
but I just wanted to let you know of this really cute thing that happened and I will be trying to film more videos. Um, I'm gonna try <laughs> filming videos on a different device to see if that will work with my laptop. Honestly, I don't know what's happening. They're clearly having a disagreement of some kind. Um, but yeah, I've just been feeling kind of blah for the past week, so that's why I haven't really been pumping out the new content. So if you do have any suggestions of videos you want to see, just comment down below. I hope you have a lovely day and you can subscribe for more LGBTQ videos every week. I will be posting more regularly again. Um, and I love you so much and I will see you next time in this video here which is actually my video that I did last, so my most recent video, so go check it out. <laughs> See you there.